Man, it's a beautiful morning here in Missouri. Yeah! What is up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. We have been doing some shenanigans, I will tell you that. Yeah, we got the boy with us. Young Yellow Frederick. Hi, buddy. Hi. He has absolutely loved being with the boys today. Just got done, uh, it, well, it's 7 a.m. Just got done shooting an AR and all sorts of different rifles and shooting a bunch of different photos for ducks and for bucks and for about everything. Getting it done. Shoot. Would you not? What's up? <laughs> What do you want me to do? Yo, yo, yo! Well, that's what they want to hear. That's yeah. up to you, I guess. I mean, and then, wanna... uh, do you still do the? Peace? I, d I don't. I definitely you don't do that, that at the end. Yeah, I yeah. couldn't. I couldn't. Rip. I definitely just couldn't that do died. that one anymore. You know, yeah. I'm 35. I got kids. The amount of times, yeah, we used to be on trips, and you go, used to be like, I can't do that. I got kids, but now it's I'm 35. Like, used to be 34 and all cool, but now you're 35. <laughs> you know, I can't do that. I'm 35. Well. You want to go out and stay? Stay out past 7 p.m. Yeah. Oh, I got them kids. I'm 35. I can't be doing that. I can't I be seen in the town. You, you guys I'm done yet? Are we yeah. done yet? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah, I've had enough. Uh, yeah, I've had enough. Uh, Bonds is okay. First of all, if you don't know who Bonds is, they, they've been out. living under a rock. Yeah. But anyways, uh, we promised you guys that we were gonna snow goose hunt. And it's definitely Bonds' fault. Hey, there's still snow geese here. It's yeah. <laughs> not season, but we, we were driving at, what was it, 95? At least. And we look over in a field, what do you think, there's 20? Maybe, yeah, 20, 30. Might have been a handful more. Yeah, and just chilling in the field. I'm Enough like, to raise why aren't eyebrows. they in Canada? Well, and right before that, there was a honker feed of probably 50. Yeah. And then a full snow goose feed of 20 to 30. I yeah. can't believe they're still here. What's the date? Today, the May 11th. 11th. Definitely not snow goose no, season. It's turkey season. Yeah. So snow goose season ended on the 30th, and uh, so we're gonna go see if they're still on the field. We're gonna show you Bonds' cabin. He has bought this beautiful, lovely little property. Amazing marsh. Uh, this is located in the. Yet you giving away your location of the cabin? Ish. Nothing. The 40 acres. Ba know. Basically, I, snow goose capital of the world. Yeah. Somewhere around. Yeah. That there. If you know where that is, so uh, forty just acres though. Forty acres. Most of it's water. Like thirty-eight of the forty acres is flooded. So it's yeah. a little, little cabin here, but it goes that way, and you can flood it. And we got five different blinds. So yeah. pit blind out yeah. there that we pumped yesterday. Yep. And the Argo and the tractor, and you got it going on out here. I'm pretty jealous. Not gonna lie. It's nice. Nice to get away from the city. Yeah, I bet. Especially the big city, yeah. of Omaha. Absolutely. That's no neighbors out here. It's nice and quiet. No shenanigans. Yeah. But we'll probably go uh, for a little tour on the Argo. But but we're gonna go see if we can see these snow geese, Frederick. Come on, man. Come on, we gotta go to Casey's and get some caffeine, dude. <sighs> but yeah, here's Banjo's cabin. Awesome porch. Gonna show you guys kind of the run down here. Um, beautiful place. Beautiful, beautiful. I can't believe you scored this place. You lucky son of a gun. I, I, I am jealous. I actually hunted here with Andrew Flair yeah. in 2017 because a subscriber's uncle owned it and invited us out. We stayed up in the loft. And you guys we like, smashed ducks that day. Yeah, we you did. took the picture out here on the porch, didn't you? On the tractor. I took uh, a picture on the tractor holding some wood ducks. But yeah, we were like, man, one day we need to own something like this. And then we came available after the flood. Flood was up to here in the water, in the cabin. Like oh the my God, really? So, and they didn't get anything out. So everything was like new, replaced. Uh, and then they ended up putting it on the market. And that's when I saw it. So, wow. Yeah. Take a look at her. That is uh, the upstairs. We'll get there. Tall ceilings. Got all of his mounts in here because he's whooped and his woman won't let him have him at home. Hey, do you have any at home, Bob? I did. I did. I did have one in my uh, in my office in the old editing room. Yeah. The mallard from... That one's from... Yep. Hey, you can't be saying my location. That was a nickname. It was the same as <laughs> everybody. Just, I'm kidding. That one's from Kansas. Yeah. And then most of these are from the cabin. A few other sprinkled in Good here. looking canvas back. Yeah. I remember the widget. Yeah, that was up in North Dakota. Yeah. Awesome, dude. You did it right. Place for your dad to come. Oh, yeah. He loves it just as much as you. They come mowing the tractor, got a backhoe. They dig out the creek. And That's awesome. Yeah, they love it. This is beautiful. Now you got to have a, a son, you know, and 
Let him enjoy. Ten years away. <laughs> look, 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 look. <laughs> that guy being a dad. That, <laughs> that is my son right there. Actually, son. <laughs> son. Hey, you'll come live out here and live off his paycheck oh. and his <laughs> checking account. Leechy leech. <laughs> leechy leech. All right, let's go look at the beds. Let me go look at your room. I don't want to see any stains or anything. There ain't nothing. <laughs> my room's full of guns. Full of guns. Yeah. God, man. It's dirty. Reminds me of uh, Preston's little cabin, the one you haven't been to. Got a few guns right here up on the wall. Beauty, dude. It's got some waders hanging. Good old log cabin yeah. bed. About as sturdy as they come. Yeah. You won't need that anytime soon. Wow. <laughs> he said, wow. Oh, wow. Oh. See, this is a bad thing. A lot of these videos like this should probably go on uncut. Uncut, yeah. You know. The real question is, have you shoot him, show him no, the I, shoes? No, I have not showed him the shoes. You gotta show him the shoes. Hold on a minute. Tell him what they are now, come on. It's the shoes. The it's the shoes. shoes. The shoe. We got them in two colors. We got them brown for like, if you're going to a bar, a date or something, you know, a little more casual. And then these, all season, summer, they're great, but I'm excited to use them for before I slip on my waders. Yeah. I think that's what they're going to be perfect yeah. for. On and off, yeah. no strings, yep. no time, yep. no boots in the morning. Exactly, you don't need it. Yeah. When are they uh, going to hit the, the market running? Should be by end of June. They should be on, of, on the website. End of June. Yeah. And to add to that, the price point is absolutely yeah, amazing. Very affordable. A lot of you, all of you out there that are, you know, this, I'm not going to say the brand name, yeah, but yeah, yeah. fans of those yeah. shoes, guarantee you. You'll be happy with the price. Yeah, like. For sure. A lot cheaper. All right. This is where all the boys stay. Where all the guests stay when we have people over. I have a lot of people over family. People come for Thanksgiving. They come hunting and stuff. So it's nice having a big loft where a lot of people can stay. So yeah. got four beds up here. Yeah, big beds. Better than me. I got small ones for everyone to lay on. I like all this though. So yeah. This looks Here's awesome. Like the whole ceiling yeah. looks great, dude. Well, here's our snow geese. Acting like honkers. I think there is a couple honkers and on the other side. You'll have to show them those. Yeah, we'll go look. There's two two blues there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven total there. And then two more blues. Ooh, those are juvie. Look at that. He has a dirty, yeah. dirty juvie. The, that one there. Huh. Probably COVID geese. This is where most of them are. And that one looks... No. I'm just waiting to see a net collar or something, dude. You know what? Yeah, no kidding. Huh. Makes you wonder why in the heck they are still here. Yeah. That's crazy. Oh, caffeine. We got to, uh... Watch out now. See, you see, you give him a ca see, you put the camera in your face. You start getting squirrely. <laughs> God, what a tank. Oh, I love it. See, this is what we need on ours. A winch. That'd be... It comes with, like, you can put, like, a... It's like a pickup bed, it makes sense. So you can just put all your decoys in here if you don't have a bunch of people. But I like yep. that you can fit more people in here, too. So it's, yep. it's nice. Y'all know Preston's Argo. It's actually been his grandfather's ever since we've been using it, and I just bought it. Oh, hi. Nice. Yeah. First Argo. It's like a 20, it's like a 2015, isn't it? Something like that? Yeah, I, I believe it's yeah. a 2015. Yeah. That's nice. But you got your own freaking road. I was going to call it a driveway, yeah. but it's a road. Yeah. It looks like out Arkansas out here, there's drainages and levees and water everywhere and still snow geese all right where are you taking me this is the creek wood duck heaven yeah so we've been cleaning it out we got a back on the other side a little blind right here a little three man blind been finding any uh morels out here i have not dude it's so humid you would think that they'd be everywhere out here Oh yeah, the, oh dude, I see what you're working with now. 
Look so at the. It's been like overgrown and everything, so we're clearing it out so the wood ducks have a spot. This is one of the wider spots, so we saw a wood duck yesterday cruising over it, so I'm, Dude. Hoping, I'm hoping this fall. Yeah, you get it opened up, which yeah. looks like that's what you're doing. Yeah. Dude, that's a cool, that's a killer little hole. That's yeah. the perfect two man oh, yeah. little hole. Yeah kill a few a ducks yeah. dude so put a couple wood duck boxes up hopefully those get used in the next couple years yeah so, dude there's a lot of wood ducks out here yeah i seen we already ducks. seen quite a few yeah. of them dude this is a juicy little hole you're gonna take all this wood and stuff out yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep moving down both ways and just kind of dude her up. i want something to do like this yeah. golly dude this is a duck hunter's heaven Got some boxes, like he said. Got the old backhoe over there. Well, you're doing good for yourself, Austin. Looks awesome out here. Yeah. It's awesome. I know your dad enjoys it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Have you hunted this one yet? So not this right here but so this all floods and this is just the deepest spot so we call this the teal pond teal pond so this is the first pond it's 10 acres about when you flood the whole thing mm. so we got two blinds on this property we have one pit in the middle and then one on the edge right now that's movable it's actually a really nice blind it's like a metal one and you hook it up to like the argo oh, or something you a can, skid yeah and then you can put like oh, there's a wheels you can put on it and, and you can move it wherever you want but oh, it floats and everything oh nice yeah it came with the property it's really nice they're expensive because it's all metal and everything but they're not nice. uh, i didn't know you actually so this piece is 10 acres yes and then the other, the other one's piece like 28 holy smoke flooded yeah flooded. so you're talking water area yeah 38 acres total out of the four oh acres, my so gosh there's like two acres that aren't flooded yeah and so when he's when he's when he says this you can tell the 10 acre piece this is only an acre yeah so it floods all the way out to that irrigation unit way out there and you don't even have a well this is not this is not provided by a yeah well. this 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 is, one is yeah both the, the ponds are so we'll, oh. we'll kick it on we'll click the pumps on there's not a well for the cabin or anything okay but yeah there's a there's a well out here for these so these two ponds won't run off one well and you just open oh it either side up. i was way confused you were talking about catching rainwater at the cabin yeah for the cabin not for this I yeah thought... oh <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> dang it rains out here a lot yeah i was like yeah. But the nice thing about this is it's all clay bottom. So once you flood it once for the whole season, it's good until yeah. you you lift the gates and it goes back into the creek. So gotcha. that's how you drain it. Gotcha. Whenever you want the water off. So, gotcha. Yeah. But there's actually Asian carp in here. It's kind of fun to stir up and try to shoot going. with a bow. Oh yeah. Have you nabbed one yet? I think Andrew hit one, um, but most of the time they jump in the jump in the Argo, and then we just end up eating that one for a video. How they taste? Gross. Are they bad? They're bad. Like there's these. so many bones. There's like that Y bone or whatever, and it's like all that red meat you gotta get out. It's not worth it, dude. If it's anything like eating a crow, have you eaten a crow? Yeah. You did eat a yeah, crow. Yeah, we ate crow. Oh. Yeah, it's bad. Worst thing I've ever tried but, to make a video hey, or do something. There's one way you gotta make crow. Sloppy crow, not bad. You uh. do sloppy Joe. So you ground ground the be the crow. And then you would put like that manwich sauce on it, you wouldn't be able to tell. And we've done it where it's one and two, and I, I couldn't tell. Ugh. Because it that sloppy Joe mix like just overtakes. It overtakes yeah. it. So, you don't have it kind of disguises yeah. the game taste. You can't like fry it, like deep fat fried crow. That's gross. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Look at this. A little narrow, yeah. but man, this place is awesome, dude. Now this hole here, I'm telling you, absolute beauty. This is, uh, this is, this is the main hunting spot for sure. Yeah, this we'll is. We'll do a little out there, but this is. This is the this juice, is juice yeah. for sure. Uh, so this is where we were, we were gonna do the uh, big snow goose hunt. My trailer, the old ducks trailer at home, is still loaded up, ready to come. <laughs> I was so pumped to come up here. We got a pit blind on this peninsula. If I was to put all my full bodies and floaters out there, oh man. But this whole thing floods. It's got a, le a levee around the whole deal. Oh, 
with little buccaroni. Yeah. Look at him. He's just now starting to grow his antlers. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't say that's a bad size buck. No, he's got a big body on him. Yeah, good body. That's the first buck I've seen on this property. Actually, really? Actually, second. I saw one. We were duck hunting on that other pond and came right out. Really? My dog is like, what was that? That's the but, first buck of the year I've seen with yeah, nubs like yeah. that started. Yeah. He had like two nubs on each side. I see a lot of deer out here, though. Really? Yeah. My mom will be excited, I'll tell her. Really? Yeah, she loves it. So. You, you don't have a feeder out here for deer, deer anywhere? Or? Uh, it's just, there's not that, that corner has a few trees, but it's just, there's so many cornfields around here, there's not much place for them True. to stay. True. Uh, oh. Ah, dang, you're just holding out on me. Look at these beauties. Oh, I like the orange one. Dude, those are sweet. Well, Frederick's gonna like them. But here we are. Uh, this is the peninsula. It rolls out, and uh, it's got a pit wind out here, obviously. Where all the water comes out. Oh, so um, like late season, you just want to pull it off the ice or whatever. That's where you can do it. Oh, dude. Got the old pit blind. We were pumping, pumping her out yesterday. Yeah. She's definitely seen better days yeah. right now. <laughs> oh yeah. So it's like you can have this completely over your head. Uh huh. Kind of uh, a cool design. I've oh never yeah. Seen it before, so. Let the let all this mesh yeah, drape down over down. the hole. Yeah. This grass grows up and everything too. So. Dude, this is a sweet spot. Yeah. Dude, this is perfect. I, dude, snow goose full bodies everywhere. Yeah. A little shallow where you have a lot of bank to put a lot of decoys. Oh, look how big it is! Huge. You said this piece is how many acres? It's about 28. 28 acres of marsh water, and the snow goose, snow goose did get on it. They got on it late. It was like, what did we say? It was like. Uh, middle, you said March 18th. Yeah, middle of March, which we were like trying to hunt like beginning of March, which. Still probably could have trafficked some, but yeah. they used it late, and it was just like mud. Yeah, there's was, there's was no water really on this side. That that side had a little water, but there was probably about a thousand on here for a couple. Days. Well, now we know. Yeah, maybe know. maybe we'll aim for that. Like, you know, tenth. Yeah, March tenth ish. Eighth yeah. come up for a week yeah. next year. I think that'd be awesome. Yeah. All right, keep it rolling. The blind over there is where we're going to be headed, and it's an absolute beauty. This one here is freaking sweet. You said you guys used this one the most though yeah. this last year for ducks. Yeah, the last two years we've used this one the most. It's just, I think it's concealed really well and the birds just like being on this side of the pond. I think it's a little deeper. Oh really? So so does the water all, go all the way up to the edge yeah, of the blind? Yeah, to the blind. Oh, we gotta so. go look at it. You guys gotta see it. This is a little miniature duck hotel. Oh, a beauty. We got wood everywhere. Earlier or what? Yesterday. Yesterday we, we did a, a little yeah, bit. did a bunch of woodwork, replace some stuff. Oh, dude! Yeah. Oh yeah. Look at the views. Yeah, dude. Oh, you even got the blackstone oh, yeah. in here. God. Not like the cabin's not 200 <laughs> feet over there. But That's like the third hungry. black stone I've seen out here on your property. Oh, yeah, my dad loves them. <laughs> yeah. I bet he does. This is definitely my dad. See, he definitely cooks it up. But, you know, if the hunting's not good, takes my mom at 8 a.m. and be like, hey, we're going to be back in an hour. Get that casserole going. <laughs> we'll just walk back. So. I can only imagine how much your dad loves this place. Oh, yeah. Like, this is right up his alley. Yeah. So, uh, when we first started Ducks, um, well, that was five, five years ago, yeah. pretty much. Uh, I met his dad for the first time, and he, he took us out on the Missouri River, and it was my first time on the Missouri River. Long, very long story short, it was really dense fog, and I am a Kansas boy. I'm not a water boy, and I'm dang sure not a Missouri River, roaring Missouri River, 30, 40 foot, 50 foot deep. That's dangerous and dense fog. 16-foot John boat that uh, had a 25-horse motor on it. We had just had... I believe Bodie, maybe yeah. We just mm -hmm. had Bodie, so I buffed them kids, and I was scared. Yeah, so we were, <laughs> we were going so slow because you couldn't see anything. Like the most dense fog I've ever seen on the Missouri River. <laughs> and I'm looking at my phone, and I don't know we got to go up river like a mile. And I'm like, the boat ramp's in front of us. We're going backwards, but uh, we're we're going forward. We're just going so slow that the current of the river is taking us backwards. Yeah. So I was like, we just got to get to the boat ramp and get off so it was what i'm getting at is that day 
I became friends with your father. <laughs> I, I confided in your dad. When he didn't let us die that morning, I was like, I love you, man. We, we, we waited the fog scared. out. We killed some ducks that day. We yeah. killed some teal. Yeah, that was, yeah. well, that was teal only, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I think we had one big group of teal coming in, and we, we got them pretty good. But yeah, that was, I don't think I'll ever forget that morning. I will never, yeah. ever forget. And you know what? That morning, a lot of these people watching right now, um, First of all, if you like me being here and me and Bonds, we need to be hunting yeah. more. They always say and, that. We need to get out in the fall before before everything gets too busy yeah. on teal, early season. Yeah. But I don't know where I was going with it. But anyways, you got to drop a comment down below. Let us know what you want us to do. Maybe there's some off-season stuff. Come yeah. back up here, do some things. Get on the teal pigeon. Hunt. I'll come down for a pigeon. Dude, I know. I've, Everyone I've wants a to see it. in a while. I know. If I could... Believe me, I've been looking. I look every single day. <laughs> I have one that I'm looking at, but I don't. I think they're still uh, in the nest. Like there's babies. Mm, they're still taking yeah. care of babies in the gotcha. nest, and they're so not all out in the months, field. It's more of a summer thing. You when the wheat is cut. Yeah. I think that's the deal. Gotcha. Oh really? Yeah. This is the old hole here. Yeah, you can tell it holds really well over here. Yeah. Uh, oh, so that's to drain. Yeah, that's to drain it once we're ready to get the water off and start planting and whatnot. So, so the creek's back here. Here's the gate. So yeah, after season, after snow goose season, we'll lift it up. There wasn't much since we were all in you know a drought. Right. But normal season, it's full, full. So you'll release it and then we can get to planting and stuff. We're gonna till it up this year and we're gonna move some dirt so it's kind of deeper around the blinds a little bit and. It's once the flood came in, everything's on level. Yeah. So we're gonna kind of make it just a little bowl where it's a little deeper there. But hopefully we're gonna plant some corn, some dwarf corn. Dwarf corn. Yeah. So it's just short yeah, it's corn. Yeah, shorter corn. I don't know if it's like engineered for ducks or what it's for, but people are saying it's like it's like gold around here apparently. So really? I was like, we'll try it out because the like the ear is like right at two feet, right where the ducks can swim up. Ah. Uh, so, so yeah, you don't harvest it. You no, just let it yeah. stock out. Yep. Do if it falls over on its own, it yeah. falls over on its own yeah. so in that situation you can't go blazing this no. through the corn yeah, you so can't I, touch it yeah, basically you gotta be smart where you plant it leave leave yourself a path yeah you know you can sit in it yeah you to hide it, but you can't go destroy it yeah you can't knock it you yeah. can't knock any so, of it over leave a path where you know you're going to be going and leave a kill hole and everything the only reason i bring that up is because i can guarantee you when he said planting corn and out here a lot of you were like ah oh, that's baiting it is not baiting you cannot go bush hog corn and then hunt it, right? So normal farming practices. Normal, yes. Normal farming practices. And sometimes weather conditions, hail, like heavy hail yeah. on corn can knock it on the ground. Yeah. That's Super cool. high winds, I'm sure, yep. knock it over some. Yep. So it'll be, be interesting. Be careful what you do out yeah. there. Yeah. Be careful. Like Read your eggs. Well, even let's say they have grandpa's uh, cornfield that ain't all the way cut, like half cut, and they're honker hunting. Mm -hmm. Don't be driving that truck through the cor standing corn. No. If, if the game warden sees you knocking corn over, going out there, and you hunt, you come back, even if you didn't hunt where you drove through, you're screwed. Uh, Austin was saying that the local game warden, you know, they're on a first name basis, and uh, being open, open and honest and asking him what you can and can't do, you have a lot of ground. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's that's the way to do it is you find out what you should do and the right way to do it. Don't assume. No. Yeah, Don't assume. Absolutely. Because if the regulations, if it doesn't say you can do it, you can't do yeah. it. Yeah. And if it doesn't say you can't, if there's nowhere that says you can't, that means you still can't. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. That, there's all these gray areas oh, yeah. in waterfowl hunting. People are like, well... But it doesn't say I can't yeah. do that. No, That's if it's specific, call and ask. yes. If it if it does, there, so many people are like, well, it's not in the rule book. That means it must be legal. No, if it's not in the rule book and it doesn't state that you can, that means you can. Absolutely. That's the way everyone needs to understand waterfowl regulations. Because what we were, we were talking to Cam yesterday, he's new to waterfowl hunting, and we were just going through the federal regulations, and he was like. Wow, and I'm like, yeah, they're federally owned game. You know, deer aren't federally owned, turkey aren't federally owned. So, 
I just wanted to put that out there. Um, we haven't been together in a while, and this property, you really got to know what you're doing. You can come out here and get in a lot of trouble yeah. if you just want to start blowing your money and doing whatever. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be cool. Oh, that's going to work. Mm -hmm. It's going to work, but you're going to get in trouble. Yeah. Well, thank you for letting me use your camera, sir. Right on. I didn't even didn't even ask. Did you guys find those snuggies? Yes. Oh, I filmed them with the big back. lens. Really? They're yeah. Same amount in the exact same spot. I glassed them through the binoculars, and a lot of them were like their faces were really rusty. Do they, do, they look, do they look young? Yeah, there's definitely like that's, gray that's birds so, in there. That's so interesting because if you think if they're cripples, like... They're no definitely water, not cripples. There's no water next there, yeah, so they're... They're definitely not cripples. I, I would... It kind of looks like a a family, like a large, you know, a twenty pack family, sticking around together, that's, just sticking together. That's why. Because all the blues look identical. Really. Yep, the same age, like just having a white head. There, it doesn't bleed down their chest or they anything. They don't look like they're just youngins, though. There was one. Yeah, really. Yes, they're young. Like they're Your young. Your bag young, was young. a bandit. It was a bag. It was a bag. Yeah, it was, it was, it was not blowing around. Yeah, what do you what what's what are you doing? We're gonna go play a little bit. Gonna go play? Yeah. Nah. This guy. Nah. You want to come play? Yeah, I'll play. <laughs> well, I'm done. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour, the explorations, and the snow geese. Yesterday, uh, when we found the snow geese, I was pretty pretty excited to see it. I didn't think I was gonna see another snow goose in the field. Buddy was jazzed. I was. Get jacked. on your phone. It's the season open. <laughs> <laughs> I did too. Yeah. Austin, stomp on your brakes. I did. I checked and seen if the season was open. She closed about she closed. 10 days ago. What is today? The 10th? Yeah, 11, 10 yeah. days ago. 11 days ago. But thank you all for being here. Subscribe if you haven't. I've been saying it a lot lately. Hit the notification bell. I don't say it. I hadn't said it for like two years. And I could tell. Because when you guys do hit it, it does help. Do you always say that to your subscribers? I don't. You don't? notification bell was a thing. Yeah, I did too. I, I know. It's, 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 well, it's old school, dude. Yeah, like, I started saying it yeah. again. You never yeah, know. The Nodi gang, baby. The Nodi gang. Wow. The old school stuff. When it act, when our YouTube channels were cool back then. Yep. Now we suck. Mm -hmm. We suck again. Bag of weenies. Bag of weenies is right. But until next time. I've been getting laid back, baby. You should know that I don't need your criticism. Pessimism.